Hello there viewers, Axel here. Welcome to another Axel Tech video. So this is sort of a follow-up to the previous Resolve video about getting it actually set up and installed, assuming you're using an AMD graphics card, because I don't have I don't have NVIDIA hardware to test with at the moment. But um this is assuming that you already have DaVinci Resolve set up, up and running, and you're wanting to get started using it. If you are one of the many people who uh, probably uses software that produces uh, just mp4s when you record, you may find that Resolve does not let you import your footage. And, you know, that's pretty annoying. So, what can you do about this? So, the issue is, um, if you're in that situation, the mp4 is probably encoded with the H.264 codec, so if I go to my footage right here, mine is a .mkv, but that's just the container. The codec is still the same. So, you know, I try to drag that in, nothing happens. So if you use OBS Studio like me, then, or, you know, whatever else program defaults to H.264 and making MP, MP4s or MKVs, what you need to do is simply you're going to convert the footage to a format that Resolve does let you use. Now, for the longest time, I had been doing it by just, you know, using FFmpeg through the command line. I then got to the point where I made a custom bash script to make that simpler. And then I also found uh, this script by Thomas Praxel over on GitHub, a convert footage script to simplify the process as well. But as it does turn out, there is a graphical application that works just as well and is not too hard to use. It's called WinFF, and if you're on Ubuntu, you should be able to find it through the software center. And if you just want to install it through the command line, it is as simple as sudo apt install WinFF, which... Um, it's not going to install for me because I already have it installed, but there are your options. Once again, WinFF. So we're going to use that for this example. So first thing you want to do, open WinFF. It'll look something like this. The actual theming may look different depending on if you're on normal Ubuntu or a variation of Ubuntu. I'm an elementary OS. That's why it looks like this for me. It's all still based on Ubuntu. It should all work just the same. So... As you can see, I have a preset here called XVID MOV. That is not one that you will have by default. So what you'll want to do is go to Edit, Presets. The category is going to be, scroll down to QuickTime. I based it off of this one right here, QuickTime MOV. But And um, you can start by basing it off of that. And it's going to end up looking something like this. So I changed preset name to XVID, preset label to XVID MOV, and then I cleared out all of the command line parameters and replaced it with the following. You have hyphen C V, so think codec video, and we use lib XVID, then Q colon V2. So that's the quality level of the XVID video. The lower the better, one will be higher quality. It'll also probably be a lot bigger. So I use two. You can do one if you want, or you can do lower or higher, higher number, lower quality than two. I use two. That seems like a good sweet spot. And then CA, codec audio. I do PCM underscore s 24 le other people like to do 16 i do 24 you can do what you'd like the output file extension stays as mov you can put it under whatever category you want i just left it under quicktime that's up to you once you have changed all these parameters you click add update or add slash update and then save so from there you're going to select quicktime Select your new preset. You can call it whatever you want to. That's the one that I made. I like to use source folder for the output folder. So here is the clip in question. I'm going to drag that in. 
and I'm going to convert it off screen because recording while trying to convert, that's probably not the best idea. So I'll be right back once the conversion is done. All right, after you click convert, you likely had a terminal window pop up that was, uh, well, running FFmpeg to convert your clip. At the end, press enter to continue. And then that's done. If you check the folder, you should see the name of the converted file, .mov. Now, things to keep in mind here. Converting your footage will result in a larger file than the original. So as you can see, my original is 175 megabytes and the converted one is 531 megabytes. So that's uh, somewhere, it's between two to three times larger. But if we drag it into Resolve, as you can see, it did import. And if I drag it onto the timeline, look at that, we have a working video. So that's one option. There is another option because um, it, when you try this, you may notice the conversion to XVID does take some time. So what if maybe you don't want to wait that long or you don't care too much about file size because maybe you're just going to have these as temporary proxies for your video. So for if, if for whatever reason, like you want it to be faster to actually get to the editing, but for whatever reason, you don't care as much about the file size. I'm also going to show you what I used for the longest time until I recently switched over to using XFIT instead. Okay, so just like before, let me go ahead and clear that first. We're going to go to Edit, Presets. Um, we're still under QuickTime, so yeah, QuickTime. Going to start from the MOV. So this time, we're going to be using ProRes for the codec we convert to. So ProRes, it does uh, convert to it faster. Uh, like roughly three times faster in my testing. It's also roughly three times bigger than the XVID codec. So keep that in mind. I'm going to call this uh, ProRes MOV. And again, we're going to clear out those command line parameters and I will put in as follows. C, V, ProRes for the ProRes codec. Profile, V. So there are four, I think it's four, it's either 0 through 3 or 0 through 4. Either way, 0 is uh, what it considers proxy quality, which is the lowest, also the smallest. For the kinds of videos I do, I have seen like no discernible quality loss, but if you do higher end, higher quality footage, you might want to play with this a bit, see if a higher number will work better for you. I'd recommend looking into that if you need to, if you're just here to like, okay, I just want to do some videos and get stuff done. Go ahead and go with zero. You shouldn't notice any quality loss. I never have. So just keep all that in mind. Then you're going to do same audio codec as before. Again, you can do 16. I do 24 LE. But either way, it's PCM underscore S, the number you chose, LE. And output file extension is good. Category is good. Do ads and update. Click OK save and now if we convert to quicktime preset prores let's add the clip back in and i will click convert i will see you guys again when that is done okay so the conversion is done um one thing to keep in mind if you're like me and you were testing this with both the both both the xvid and the prores one here um since both of them were .mov and it just uses the original file's name, the ProRes one overwrote the XVID one. So as you can see down here, I only have the ProRes one now. So uh, keep that in mind. If you're like if your original footage is already an MOV or something, that's uh, something you will need to work around. Okay, it is worth mentioning the thing that I was talking about earlier. To where it overwrote the um, XFID file. If you don't use source folder, you can just put it in a different folder and that'll work around that issue just fine. So yeah, I had it checked to use source folder because that's simpler, but maybe you want to put it somewhere else to make sure you don't overwrite the original file. So there you go. That's a way around that issue that I ran into. But other than that, if you recall, the uh, XFID file size was about 500 something megabytes. 
the ProRes one is 1.6 gigabytes. So, yeah, kind of bigger. Um, did that break anything and resolve? That's technically not the original. Oh, God, that was scratchy and loud. Okay, take that out. Okay, lesson learned. Do not have resolve open when you're overwriting a file that it's currently using. Okay, so there you go. There's a couple of options for what you can convert your footage to. There are other codecs that do work, but the two that I have used personally are ProRes and most recently XFID. I like doing XFID because the file size is a lot smaller, but ProRes is still nice because it converts a lot faster, even though the resulting footage or the resulting file is going to be bigger. So decide what works best for you, either slower conversion with a smaller file size or faster conversion with the lot with the larger file size. Choose what works best for your needs. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know and let me know down in the comments below. Until next time, this has been Axel. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. And if you have any suggestions for other resolve related things that might need addressed as long as they don't involve the fusion tab because i have never used fusion so i can't help with that make sure to let me know till next time this has been axel thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next one